Lu Yu. Lu Yu simplified Chinese, Lu Yu. Traditional Chinese, Lu Yu. Pinyin, Lu Yu, 733-804, was a Chinese tea master and writer. He is respected as the sage of tea for his contribution to Chinese tea culture. He is best known for his monumental book The Classic of Tea, the first definitive work on cultivating, making and drinking tea. Biography Lu was born in 733 in Tianmen, Hubei. For six years, Lu Yu stayed in Huomen Mountain studying under the guidance of Master Zhu Fuzi. During this period, Lu Yu often brewed tea for his teacher. He also took care of fellow students' health using his remarkable knowledge in tea and herbs that he learned while at the Longai Monastery. Whenever time permitted between his studies, Lu Yu often went to the countryside to gather tea leaves and herbs. In one of those trips, Lu Yu stumbled upon a spring underneath, a six-foot round rock, and the water from the spring was extremely clear and clean. When Lu Yu brewed tea with this spring water, he found the tea tasted unexpectedly better than usual. From then on, Lu Yu realized the importance of quality water in brewing tea. Zhu Fuzi was moved by Lu Yu's obsession with tea and his skill in brewing good tea. He cleared the rock together with some of his students and dug a well around the fountainhead of that spring. In 1768, just over a thousand years later during the Qing Dynasty 1616-1911, Jingling was hit by drought, and the whole city was badly in need of water. City folks found water still flowing from this well uncovered by Lu Yu and dug by Zhu Fuzi. A king official ordered three wells to be dug around the spring and a structure constructed near the wells named Lu Yu Hut and the Literary Spring. In 752, Lu Yu concluded his studies, bade farewell to his Shifu teacher Zhu Fuzi, and returned to Jingling to meet his benefactor Lai Kiwu. However, a year earlier, Lai Kiwu was reinstated and returned to the Tang capital, Chang'an. The new chief official of Jingling now was Kui Guifu. Kui, a senior official who held a position similar to an education minister of today, was demoted to Jingling as a chief official for offending a member of the royalty. Kui Guifu was a scholar and poet well known for his magnificent five characters perverse short poem. After his demotion to Jingling, Kui Guifu took life fairly easy. Even though Kui was many years older than Lu Yu, both men shared the same interest in tea, literature, and poetry. As such, they became good friends soon after they met. During this period, Lu Yu stayed with Kui Guifu and assisted him in his administrative tasks. The two of a kind spent much time traveling, drinking tea, and writing poems, and they co-authored several books on poems. This period with Kui Guifu was the growing phase for Lu Yu as a man of letters, an incubation period for Lu Yu to practice and sharpen what he learned from his Shifu Zhu Fuzi. Kui Guifu, with his vast experience and skill in literary work, became a coach that provided the necessary guidance to enhance and mature Lu Yu's writing and literary skills. During this time, he wrote the classic of tea. The original version of the classic of tea consisted of three books totaling ten chapters. Book one consisted of the first three chapters. Book two consisted of chapter four only. Book three consisted of chapters five to ten. After the Tang Dynasty, all three books were bound into a single volume, and the three-volume version was no longer available.